everybody welcome back it's business and doing something a bit different with the first four cruisers of the german line so they uh, were just introduced last patch and they're different and starting off with the hermelin this thing looks like a turtle i guess it has a uh, open conning tower at the top there uh probably wasn't all that comfortable if this thing even existed in the first place i haven't bothered to read the flavor text um this has a pair of uh, cannons on the front and the back, uh, just a single turret front and aft, and um, that can kind of lead to obviously some issues if you get hit with uh, the right salvo of HE, you're going to lose a turret and there goes 50% of your firepower, so that's a pretty significant deal. Um, this has actually really good penetration for the 130mm cannons it has, and um, it's... It has about a, I think it's a 3,000 damage for the, the citadels, the max AP damage. So that means that you'll take one third of an enemy Hermelin's health off if you get a citadel. So that's actually a pretty damn big deal. And uh, it actually, I, in, in my opinion, and I'm not spoiling anything here. If you've played these ships or if you've read anything on the forums, this is the best ship you'll get until the Konigsberg. And that is really screwed up. And in case you haven't bothered with them yet, uh, the Konigsberg is tier 5. And the tier 1 is the best ship. <laughs> you know, there's, there's something wrong with that. Um, I'll explain when we get to the next ship, because it's the same problem that's present on that ship as the next and then next ship. But, um, you know, what... I like about the Hermelin is that, you know, and this is true for the first three ships, is that, you know, it does have a fast rate of fire, um, and that's affected uh, in a pretty good way, in, uh, in a positive way, with the uh, captain skills, the first uh, captain skill with the uh, basic firing training, where you get, um, you know, further reduced uh, reload time, and, um, I mean, if you're talking about these little knife fights that you get at tier one um, against whether it's you know the the same tier ship or higher, um, every single second matters, and you gotta try to get those shots out as uh, fast as you can. So uh, when you're talking about a half second of reload time, um, that can actually make a difference between life and death, and um, I really like that. So. Um, Look at the, look at this thing. It it just looks like a freaking tugboat with a couple guns. It's just so adorable, and yeah, uh, it doesn't take damage very well. I'll say that. Um, it's very easy to lose your health <laughs> in the blink of an eye with this ship. It's just not exactly the sturdiest of ships, if you will. So, moving on to the tier two Dresden, um, certainly has a look that's quite early uh, turn of the century type of thing, you know, World War I uh, certainly has a lot in common with the St. Louis, aesthetically speaking, and uh, does have a lot of guns as well. Um, you upgrade the hull, and uh, there is an FCS upgrade too. Um, you can uh, get 12 cannons, so six each side, and uh, it does have a bit of an issue with these cannons. Uh, they're very small. They're like 105 millimeter. They have horrible fire uh, chance and uh, that's I think it's like 4% on this ship 5% for the Kohlberg and let's see the AP damage is you know in the 3000 so you know slight upgrade uh, from the Hermelin right the problem is penetration so this is going to be a recurring theme for the remainder of the video is that these shells uh, from the, the the cannons here for the, the early tiers, um, they don't have a lick of penetration, and it's weird because they have a a lofty trajectory, and uh, you know that that kind of uh, the the velocity actually increases a little bit, you know, from tier two, three to four, um, you know, the same range as though the uh, Karlsruhe at tier 4 is a little faster than the Kohlberg at tier 3, which is a little faster than the Dresden here at tier 2. And, um, you know, they should be hitting harder, but they don't. And, you know, it feels like the Dresden 
is actually better suited to fight enemy destroyers than it ever is to deal with enemy cruisers or uh, like in the off chance you get in a match against a uh, say a South Carolina or a uh, Kawachi um, you know you're not going to burn them down you're just going to annoy the hell out of them uh, you're going to do so little damage to them with HE because it has such a low fire percentage uh, chance and then also the fact that you're hardly doing any damage as it is. I mean, the max uh, a uh, HE damage is 1700 or, you know, something ridiculously low like that. Um, now, again, obviously, these are small cannons. They're only, you know, uh, they're just barely over 105 millimeters. Uh, the Nagato has uh, a better complement of secondary cannons than this does primary uh, armament. So that's uh, kind of telling as to what you're dealing with here. And, <clears throat> you know, the tier 3 Kohlberg is a very similar setup. Um, they're barely distinguishable, actually. And here the uh, the Russian destroyer, he's actually taken some damage, but I've, I barely feel like I could do that against the uh, enemy Hermelin there. And I do get the kill there, but uh, this didn't have a happy ending, so we'll just move on to the Kohlberg at uh, tier 3. And again, aesthetically speaking, I kind of like how this ship looks uh, has a little bit more of an angular fl uh, front end and um, as you can tell who's in the division here we're all trying to just chug our way through these ships uh, just to get to something that's uh, enjoyable or worth playing but uh, again this has a hull upgrade as well as an FCS upgrade it uh, doesn't receive any additional guns it does have uh, a reduction in its uh, rudder shift time it does have a little boost to its health pool. Um, the rudder shift goes down to, I think it's uh, 6.8 seconds from 9.6. So not that bad, but again, as with the Dresden, it is slow. I mean, it, it's not like you should expect the um, German cruisers uh, this tier to be uh, quick like a uh, Tenryu or a Chai Kuma or something, you know, but um, it does have uh, a, a lot of cannons again. I um, Pretty sure it's 12 of them, so, uh, you know, it does look nice. Uh, just the slightly more beefy looking version of the Dresden. But the continuation of just meh kind of behavior, the, the I, I can't even say the qualities, just the, the attributes. Qualities is simply too positive a, a word to use for this. Um, you know, I I did kind of like the Kohlberg, I suppose, just slightly more than the Dresden, but considering where that lies in my uh, list of ships that I'd like to play again, um, that doesn't really mean anything. And you can see all this... <laughs> Like we we got we have a bunch of Kohlbergs, we have a Dresden over here, and we just can't kill this poor ship that's AFK or crashed or whatever. Um, you know, I mean, consider how many damn shots were coming in at him, right? And uh, it just damn, this is depressing. I I honestly think that with the testing, if you want to call it that, the testing that was done, um, you know, at the the last patch uh, before this patch came out i'm sorry um everybody just ran up through the tiers and wanted to try out the hindenburg the rune the admiral hipper at the higher tiers and nobody paid attention to these ships i mean it really looks and feels like i mean they they seem entirely to me that they're an afterthought and um by comparison to the other ships in uh in already in the game as far as the uh, let's see, the St. Louis, the uh, Tenryu, the Kuma, the Phoenix, um, these don't hold a candle to them at all. And again, like I said, the Tier 1's the best ship. I would rather have that in every single situation than any of these, because at least I could feel like I was actually doing something. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's unfortunate, because I, I was looking forward to trying these ships out, you know, try to get used to some different qualities for the ships and um it there's just nothing that comes through it comes off as exciting about the uh these initial ships and then we get to the Karlsruhe. <sighs> i mean it, this ship has already earned a number of different names for it the carl's balls 
the Carlsbad, etc., etc. Um, frankly, this is a piece of shit. Um, <laughs> there's there's no subtle way to say it at all. Uh, you pretty much have the same stats with the 150 millimeter cannons. You have uh, a terrible fire percentage uh, at eight percent. You have hardly any type of damage upgrade there. Um, you have these adorable little secondary guns. I mean, look at that. I mean, you just want to hug them. And actually, honestly, considering how small those are, I'm actually really impressed with the level of detail that's on them. So hats off to Wargaming on that. And oh, I'll, I'll say that about all the models. I'm always very impressed with them. Uh, this does have a pair of torpedo launchers. Uh, they're two by twos. So, um, you know, there's just a twin launcher on each side and that's it. Uh, they only launch two torpedoes and they're slow as hell. Uh, I think it's 58 knots, and uh, you can upgrade them to 57 knots. Yay! But it does get a uh, a healthy boost in range at uh, 50%, so it goes up to 6 kilometers overall. You do have a FCS upgrade as well as the hull upgrade too, and uh, yeah, you don't get any more guns, I believe. You just get the, uh, the health and uh, maneuverability upgrade so um you know that's something i guess but uh the fcs upgrade is certainly needed because you are really outranged um already and you know you have the same range pretty much as the previous year um, you know aesthetically it um i definitely prefer the tier three uh kohlberg over this but you know that's one of those things, whatever. And uh, by the way, all these skins are from, uh, let's see, the models by Tans, the uh, skins by Tans, I should say. Um, I'll provide the link, of course, but uh, it just looks better than the crap that's, uh, you know, handed to us from Wargaming with all the rust and everything. So uh, definitely always appreciative of any of those uh, skins. And as you can see, I am running the gold uh, camo, the... Uh, 100% increase for the uh, XP as well as the 4% reduction to enemy accuracy when they fire at you. Um, this is really good because it'll help get you through these ships much faster and uh, win or lose, um, you know, it'll be a huge help. Uh, even a, a loss where you do some damage can actually be worthwhile, you know, in um, you know, if you, you're using XP flags or anything, anything to just get out of the ship as fast as possible, get to tier 5, and uh, then you can start doing some damage. So this is, again, pretty much the same as uh, tier 3 and tier 2. Um, actually, I would say it's worse because these are 150mm cannons and they still can't do a damn thing, and I'll prove that to you in a moment. Um, Yay, I got a Phoenix that had like, you know, 500 health. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I hope my enthusiasm is, is really coming through on this video. Uh, oh boy, I'm just seething with it, honestly. And at this point in, in this particular match, um, we're being corralled. Uh, you know, we can't do the damage to keep them away. Uh, you know, the destroyers are coming in at, uh, at enemy cruisers. So if that doesn't tell you <clears throat> the uh, level of confidence that you can have going up against these ships, um, I'm not entirely sure what to say. I mean, the, they're hardly a threat to anybody, and I'll, <laughs> you'll see that here. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I, I feel like I should really take a lot of this blame like if I was in any other ship I'd be like wow I sucked a huge amount of ass in the sequence but this is just kind of what happens in the ship uh, I mean I've played it a few times and um, admittedly not a lot to really get used to it but uh, how can you possibly get used to being rushed by destroyers and not killing them <laughs> Um, I did have my torpedoes on the uh, the port side get knocked out, so unfortunately I wasn't able to uh, hurt these guys away from me and just you know have a little bit more of a buffer space. Um, and I'm trying to wiggle a little bit back and forth here, adjust my uh, throttle and everything. Uh, luckily, their initial spreads go uh, rather wide, but 
The other ones, I... I'm not so lucky. And... Look at this. 560... I mean, what the hell am I even doing? Like, what's the point of bothering with this shit? You just... Hey... This is so frustrating. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even... Like, this is a few days old, and I, I can't believe how bad this is. Just watching this, it's so embarrassing. And just to help drive the point home, um, I want to show you this particular clip that if this doesn't explain or exemplify, I should say, the the troubles that everybody's having with these particular ships, and especially at Tier 4 with the Karlsruhe, um, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this is plain evidence that the ship is clearly not balanced. And I'm going up against the Nomaha here, right? This is the side. He's only a few kilometers away. I should have plenty of penetration with 150 millimeter rounds to do something. And that first salvo. Here is the second salvo. Uh. Okay. And here's the third salvo. Check this out. Yep. Luckily, there was a Cleveland there to uh, make this not as terrible as it could have been. Uh, if I died in the sequence, it would have definitely never been shown to anybody ever. Uh, but what the hell, man? These are crap. And I, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, in some sadistic way. But um, yeah, I'm just going to leave you with this because I felt a hell of a lot better after playing the Yamato. And uh, I hope you enjoy this, but I'll see you here next time, guys. Take care.